Well, it is Monday morning at our law firm and we're busy despite it being a short week. Uh, with that said, I came out with an article today about traveling with your gun and firearm this holiday season. There are people who do travel to see family and friends and do take their handguns and firearms with them for security purposes. Uh, in that article, I talk about states that have reciprocity with Pennsylvania, because in Pennsylvania, you can get a permit to carry, uh, provided that you meet cert uh, certain qualifications, which aren't very stringent, unlike New Jersey, where it's virtually impossible to get a permit to carry, and it's a much more stringent process. Uh, interestingly enough, the states that have reciprocity with the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania are not locked uh, landlocked with Pennsylvania, nor do they, have, nor are they connected by bridges. So um, you really can't travel outside of Pennsylvania with your gun uh, in a concealed carry uh, fashion. If you are traveling through those states which do not honor Pennsylvania's license to carry, the proper way to do that is in a gun box with the ammunition kept separately. And that's the way to do it. Once you get into a state, uh, that does that does honor uh, that Pennsylvania license to carry, um, then you can obviously uh, carry it the way you would in Pennsylvania. In that article, I talk about the states that will honor your permit to carry, but just keep in mind that New Jersey, New York, Delaware will not honor that uh, permit. So just keep that in the back of your mind. If you have questions about the gun laws in Pennsylvania or New Jersey, our phone number 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, in New Jersey, 856-793-7429. We answer the calls 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even on Christmas Day, uh, Christmas day and Christmas Eve. We know that a criminal matter can happen whenever and wherever, so we make ourselves available to our clients and our families at all times. In addition, the website, gambonelaw.com, is a tremendous resource for you and your family. All my books, my blogs, my videos, everything that I've ever written as a lawyer is available there. Again, if you are traveling this holiday season, please do so responsibly. Uh, if you are drinking, please uh, be careful about driving. Uh, if you are, uh, if you think you're impaired, you probably are. And I've done articles on tolerance versus impairment. You may have a strong tolerance for alcohol, but you may, may still be legally impaired. Remember the legal limit is 0 0.08, and it really doesn't take that much to become impaired legally. Uh, in addition, prescription drugs, I did a previous video about that. Remember, you can take prescription drugs uh, that are legal and still be DUI and DWI. Uh, final point, don't refuse that chemical test. It, will, it won't help you there. But again, if you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Have a great short week. I will come to you soon, once again, before the Christmas holiday. We will come out with our weekly e-update a little early. It will go out to over 3,000 of our current and former clients. If you want to sign up for the newsletter, please go to gambonelaw.com and you can sign up there. Have a great day, and I will talk to you all soon.